Hey guys, in React 16, a really cool thing called Fragments came out and it's one of my favorite new features and I see myself using it a lot now. And I wanna show you guys how it works and why it's cool. So to do this, I have a Create React app open and uh, just some basic code, but you can add this really to any React project that's using React 16. So they have this thing called Fragment, but before I show you it, I wanna show you when you would use it and why you would use it. So right now I have this component called header, right? And I'm using it in my application. And then over here, here's what my header component looks like. I have a left header and a right header, and I'm wrapping it with a div. And here's what it looks like in the browser, right? Nothing too special. But let's say I wanna get rid of this div. Like I, I just wanna return a left and a right div. This will actually throw an error um, and crash because you can't have, you can't return two divs from a component, at least not like this. Now, they had something where you can go like this. And actually, I think this was in React 16, and I believe recently, I think like 16.2 fragments came out. Uh, so actually, I think you do need to upgrade if you want fragments. But now, what I can do is I can pass it in an array like this. So this is how you can return multiple elements. Um, before fragments so each one and if we come over here though here's the problem with that right I, it's an array so you have to add a key to it so it's kind of annoying to have to come over here and now I have to create a key for each one so this will be my left header and this will be my right header so this is a thing you can do right so there's nothing wrong with this uh, fragments are just like a nice alternative to having to do this so if I have x divs I want to return, I have to add a key to each one. Now, same thing, you want to make sure the keys are unique, like if you were to create a map. But now there's a new way of doing this. So now I don't have to worry about the keys, because those are kind of annoying. What you can do is just return a fragment. So you can do, oops. OK, I keep going. There we go, react.fragment and you treat it like a regular tag and we can get rid of the comma and now this wraps your entire app right but this acts like a any other tag but it's not any other tag if you look at the source code there's actually not going to be anything around it so notice how there's an outer div but this is coming from uh, our app and just to show you that we can call this a section and now if we take a look click on this we have a section surrounding the left and right header so this just allows us to return these two um, without having to add keys and without you know making an array so it's really nice and I find myself using this a lot if I want to return multiple things from a component now it's also useful when you're mapping so let's say over here I have an ordered list for example and I want to just spit out um, I want to map over these items here, so one, two, three, and I want to be like map. And then for each one, you know, no problem if we just want to say display one item at a time, right? But let's say we want to display two items, right? So here we go. This works, and let's just make this a unordered list so we don't just see duplicates. Um, there we go. So. Now what happens if I want to display two? So I want to display this, and I want to display uh, x times x, for example. So like I said before, we could wrap this, and by the way, I should have been using a key on this guy right before. I'm sure we got a, a console log, yeah, about it. So like before, I could add a uh, array around this to get this to work because this won't work right now or again this is another place where you can use react fragments so I can wrap it with a react fragment react.fragment and now I can return two things from the list now we also need to add a key to him and you can just add it like this in this you need to add a key here because we're mapping and we just need to close the tag correctly like that and save it so now we're able to return two list items uh, when mapping so now we see one one two 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 four three nine so perfect so 
Over here, we don't need a key because we're not mapping, but here we do because we're mapping. That's usual. Now, there's also another syntax for it, but it's not really supported in a lot of things. I don't think it's supported in Create React App, but these two are equivalent. So this is basically the shorthand syntax they're adding. Um, I think it's what, like that? There we go. So let's see if this works in Create React App. Uh, currently not working. So you, you see, I don't I don't have any errors over here because this is good syntax, but uh, Create React app does not support it currently, but it plans to, I believe, in the future. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out soon. Um, but yeah, I recommend trying out fragments. They're really nice for just removing duplicate divs that you ended up surrounding your code in, right? Because a lot of times before, I would have this as a, just an extra div that I would create here to get this to work. And so it really helps eliminate just the amount of HTML you're spitting out. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Go check out React Fragments. They're super cool. And thanks for watching.